I want to take a minute today to address a topic that came up uh, in a conversation I was having with someone the other day. Uh, we were talking about gun rights and the people that own guns, and this person uh, posed the question to me of, aren't I concerned with the fact that the people that seem to be the most into guns are the wrong kind of people, the people that we most, that we least likely want to have guns? Uh, and I'm like, you know, that just struck me as odd uh, because I'm one of the people that I don't think there is a right and wrong kind of person I want to have right the, to uh, have firearms. Now, I mean, of course, there are wrong kind of people who have firearms. You don't want violent offenders and uh, rapists and things like that to have firearms. But as far as law-abiding citizens that don't have a criminal record, I just don't think there are right and wrong people to own guns. Now, granted, there are people in life that I agree with more and that I agree with less. Uh, but me saying that I only think certain people should have guns would be like me saying I think only certain people should be able to exercise their uh, right to free speech if I agree with what they say. So I don't think that I get to decide who should have a gun and who shouldn't. In fact, there are, like I said, there are a lot of people I don't like in life. Like just, just hardcore rednecks, I can't stand them. Right wingers, don't like them. Bible thumpers, you know, really leftist hippies, you know, just things like that. I just don't like these feel good PC people. I just don't like these people. Uh, don't want to spend two minutes with them. Uh, would they, are these people that I would want to spend, like I say, I would, are these people I'd want to spend my day talking to? No, I wouldn't. Are they people I'd want around my kids? Not really. Uh, are they people I'd even want to have to sit next to on the train? No, no, they're not. They're just people that I'd rather not have in my life. So, you know, even though these people are people I don't agree with and that I don't want to be around and I just don't care for at all, that doesn't mean I think they shouldn't be able to exercise their Second Amendment rights. Uh, because everybody who's a law-abiding citizen should have that right. And the reason I think this is because I think once you get past the divisive garbage that the, uh, the government tries to throw at us constantly, the media and the government are intent on keeping us divided, us against them, so they create these fake differences. Because there's really not that much difference between people. Uh, you know, there are prejudices and there are hatreds and there are, you know, just all kinds of bad things, but they're, they are fostered and they are just pumped up by the government and the media because the only way they can keep us believing stupid shit like rich people create jobs or uh, workers' rights are bad for the economy, the only way they can get us to believe things like that is that they keep us divided on other issues. So they foster that. So. Uh, I just don't think that there's really that much difference between people. Believe me, I have seen people that I would think are just worthless. Just people that I would not want to spend a second of my day with who always step up and do the right thing at the right time. And I've seen people that I agree with that, you know, just are worthless and don't do anything when the time comes. I have lived my life and seen a lot of things and, you know, I have seen people that I would consider, you know, just a loser, you know, risk their own life to save someone else or step up and take someone into their home when they're in need or even though they don't have any money themselves give what they can to help somebody else that has even less uh, people that i would think are just awful people who just step up and do the right thing at the right time and i've seen people that i think are great people that are you know able to help other people just sit back and do nothing when it's uh, when they should be helping so, you know, and I'm not saying that all people that I disagree with do the right thing and all people that are like me do the wrong thing. I'm just saying it comes from both sides. Uh, just because someone is someone that I think, you know, has the right opinions doesn't mean they do the right thing. And someone I think has the wrong opinions doesn't mean they always do the wrong thing. So in the end, it just comes to the point where I think people are all too similar to be separating them into people who should and shouldn't have guns. Uh, as long as you are a law-abiding citizen, you know, you could say, oh, Johnny Redneck is just, he's an ignorant moron. Well, he's an ignorant moron, but apparently he's a law-abiding ignorant moron because he hasn't gotten a felony on his record. And believe me, in this world, it's really easy to get a felony on your record. So if he's doing what he's supposed to do, why shouldn't he be able to hold a gun? And one of my main reasons is, in, in the end, when it comes down to a time, if ever, I don't think it'll ever happen in my lifetime, but if it ever came down to a time where the, the average citizen needed to be armed, and things got so bad that, you know, weapons were necessary, uh, I don't think that uh, these petty differences that separate us are going to exist anymore. Political ideologies, things like that are going to fall by the wayside. I mean, when you're struggling to survive, do you care what color the skin of the person who's helping you survive is? No, you don't. Do you care if they believe in abortion is a right or not? No, you're probably not going to. Uh, these things are just going to fall away. So when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the time when people will need guns, the differences that exist now probably won't even exist. And the differences that do exist now, I don't think they're justification for saying that person shouldn't have a gun. Uh, a person could even be a racist. If they 
honestly believe that races need to be separated, I will never agree with that person. But as long as they're a law-abiding citizen that would never harm someone else, I agree with their right to own a gun. That's just the way it is. I don't believe you can believe partly in a right, but not completely in a right. It's like, it's like I said, you can't just believe, okay, people should have the right to say what they think as long as they agree with me. So in the end, I don't think there are wrong people that can own guns, other than, like I say, those that are prohibited by law already. So I may not agree with you, I may not even like you, but I'm always going to support your ability to exercise your constitutional rights.